So I'm joined by our tame electrician in Tenerife, Mark Fradley, who knows his way around the whole island and the electrical industry. He's brought us down to the electrical wholesaler. Yeah, the Elka, we frequently use the Elka, the fashion company, and uh, they are the number one distributor of electrical installation materials in the Canary Islands. Well, Mark, let's go in and see what we can find. Let's do that. Mark, Please. normally at this stage, we'd be looking at massive piles of twin and earth. That seems to be replaced by loads of piles of flexible conduit. That's correct, yes. Yeah. So uh, this is locally known as Macaron. Macaron. And uh, it's flexible tube. Uh, what we use for, we can use it in surface in interior and within the fabric of the building, uh, which normally gets covered over in concrete. Uh, before the uh, build up all the floors with the services in and finish it off with the tiles. Right, so this um, looks like it's a twin wall. Yes, yes, it's, it, it's classed as reinforced. Um, so it's got the, uh, the tube that you'll find in the UK and then it's got like a reinforcing on, over the top to stop to stop water and this that, it hasn't got much impact right. uh, protection. But uh, So what sort of size is this? Okay, so in? this comes in 16, it comes in 20, 25, 32 i think it goes up it goes up to 40 i'm not too sure if it goes up to 50 we normally use a different kind of tube that we're going to go and see now right so your regulations would tell you what type of conduit to use on a circuit exactly yeah uh, we have cable calculations so we the same as the uk the capacity calculations uh that tell you how many uh, cables that you can put in of a certain size within the tube yeah. you normally fill it to about 70 percent okay so your first um, fix is just the conduit in isn't it's it? just the conduit else. in and the boxes and yeah. the register boxes which we're going to go and see now okay let's find a register box. okay so that's the other tube over 50 mil they use in the streets yeah, to right. distribute okay. the uh, electrical cables you and we'll go and see the wall yes <laughs> So here are the uh, register boxes. What you normally do is drop down from the, uh, the mains board or the consumer unit, as you call it in the UK. We come into register boxes like this. Okay, um, so underneath the consumer unit, straight away you're in. Straight into a away box. you've got something like this. So you would feed with 25 mil tubes or 32 mil tubes, depending on how many circuits that you've got, and then distribute out with the 20, 25 mil, 30 mil tube, a uh, 32 mil tube, and they get connected in here with wagos or connectors and distribute out from these boxes to all the circuits within the vicinity. Okay, so you're uh, not, are you allowed to make connections in the distribution board or does it happen? Um, you are, yeah. but it's not a good idea to have connections inside the, the, okay. the, the, the consumer unit. So there's various different sizes um, that you can get. And are they typically left exposed once the property's finished? Uh, yeah, uh, the, once the walls are done and everything and painted, these, uh, these register boxes, uh, the lids go back on. I guess you're not big on wallpaper over here. Well, yeah, I mean, in some houses they Would do you, sell wallpaper. Did you wallpaper yeah, but it's... over the top of it? No, absolutely no? not. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have checking. seen some designers, uh, decorators that actually form the the wallpaper around, but putting paper within a within a bit of a box with connectors in probably yeah. not the greatest idea. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's my plan scuppered. Back boxes. Okay, so yeah, we've got plasterboard boxes. Um, we have the round uh, box, which these used to be with a, like a little screw and, and, and two little wings. Now they come with these um, zip, they're like a zip tie kind of thing. You put them in and this blocks far better than they used to be. Uh, so you get yeah. them in the- There's not a mess flange on the front of there when you cut the plastic. No, no, there you isn't. Be... Um, you have to be very careful. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to shake with, a, shake with a hole saw. Extremely there. careful. So there's different um, sizes, there's blue. Yeah, so there's, uh, the blue is just the make. It doesn't really mean anything other than what they've chose to, to, to distinguish their companies. One second. Oh, got the lights on, got some energy saving going on in here. So distinguish their company. Some use yellow, some use black, as you can see here. These have the old style wings on, uh, oh. just on a screw. Yeah. There's not really that much... Um, overhang there so you have to be very very careful when you're doing this into plasterboard yeah and then what would it be using if it was into a solid wall the enlaçable or joinable boxes these fit in it's like this the two holes are knocked out they yeah, fit in so, with yeah. a, like a male and female connector on the side um, the little wings are pushed out and the tube goes in right. and then once it's all concreted in you get a knife and just trim the uh, trim the tube up so there's so no adapter not... nothing goes on the end of no, the tube no 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 and then you just run the cables in fish tape in cables in yeah. job's done does the plaster fill them up for you as well uh yeah pretty much yeah. so yes yeah. standard so here as well we have a great box here by yeah. by schneider that comes well with a little cover okay. and a spike so when the plaster has been yeah um you just knock a couple of times on it pull the the cover off and all your box is nice and clean we have another couple of boxes which are the 503 for three gang 
double so uh, sorry single socket or on a switch or one socket in the middle and then 504 we have another box which is slightly bigger which is four gang okay so or double two so sockets two sockets yeah. four switches or any combination of uh, whatever the the grid system style yeah um so you can't mix data and power in the same box not really no yeah um, because of the different tensions okay uh, the different voltages what we normally do when we've got like a quadruple socket or a double socket we put these together the double socket we put another box by the side and two other sockets for telephone and fiber or data and then the center socket to keep the distances apart throughout the house we normally get that one plastered okay ask just to the keep plaster the to fill it yes oh, well, we ask cool. and it's normally done okay oh now there's something if you're going to watch one of our videos in the future you'll see these because uh, nobody here really bends plastic conduit do they no yes. i mean in certain certain distributors do sell the uh the springs but it's all about time 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 yeah um so, so we bend and conduit but this is surf this is for surface mounted. this is conduit. for surface mounted yes for 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 20 mil so the 20 mil just slides over the top or 20 so, mil inside so if we're in a garage and we wanted to go over something we wouldn't bend it we'd just put one of these in most people wouldn't bend it these which are you know waterproof connector on yeah these can be used outside uh they are e um, uv rated and tube just goes straight in and they've got a seal on the inside and uh it's far better than these kind of things not a big fan of these okay. and then we get uh rigid connectors 63 mil yeah. comes with two um couplings and you can join on to uh well, as many bends as you uh, oh, yeah. would feel like but there is a maximum of three uh, as we know there's too many bends it does kind of snag up because the cables go around to the top yeah. to the bottom and they actually lock up so even if you put in the we use a gel here as well to be able to introduce cables and to take cables out there's one that breaks down any debris and the uh the lubricant is uh water-based yeah. so what about cables when they're coming in there Mark? so we're not okay. using twin and earth here we don't use twin and earth we do use like a flex kind of cable so if we're in the conduit would it be singles in conduit singles yeah all the cables now are halogen free uh singles cable they don't sell anything that is not halogen free okay. which i think it's called low smoke in the uk yeah and they are all cpr registered that's okay. the building regulations uh, that changed yes we have about four or five UK. years ago so yeah. everything that was done um in 2007 2008 and before and previous um really has to be rewired again all right unless okay. we can get the original certification yeah from when it was passed before yeah. oh well, good luck like, with that not not yeah. kind of like a retrospective uh, authorization kind of thing. Don't Singles come on reels. No, they don't know. They used to do. Yeah. But obviously, to save money, yeah. they come in plastic bags now. Um, All right. It is quite sturdy. As long as you're not dropping it on the floor, they hold. Okay. And then you what? You pull the cable from the middle, out over. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do this. It won't matter. I'm sure. Yeah. Just pull the cable through, and the cable's ready. Right. And when you pack them away, little knot on there. So they don't get intertwined with the cables that are there because they do come a little bit slack in the middle i'll just put that in there so it don't get told off we're on the same face colors as the uk well, we the saw UK that installation yesterday it was blue and black blue and black really is obviously the blue is a neutral yeah the black is the supply cable to the switches oh, okay and then your strappers mm -hmm. i normally do in in in, in gray yeah so you can always identify them as soon as you pull it off you can identify it and then the switch wire from the the second switch or the the, the two-way switching uh i always put it in brown okay so you can always identify the cabling That's okay shall we go problem. and see the uh the fire rated cable yeah fire rated cable yeah we I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some fire rated cable here okay so we've got all the low smoke multi-core and single core okay so double where would we be using this this is all double insulated, ca uh, insulated cable so you don't need to have containment for this so you can so put you can it mount this surface mounted you can mount it surface mounted or you can put it on something like a cage yeah and is it always green it's always green yeah yeah that would throw us a little bit because he's uh, always green obviously remembering back to the older days when uh, when the uh, earth wire cpc was green <laughs> yeah yeah i suppose there's a little bit those are the differences between the installations so if you're not using conduit you'll be running this you'll be using this yeah yeah um so main cables to what we saw yesterday to the head unit are always running this single single core so when we do like main cables or this that the other we can get it trenzado it's like a braided cable it goes up to like 25 mil from 6 to 25 mil comes on a roll 
just roll it all out it's already twisted for you and the red cable was for the uh nighttime tariff right. that was never used <laughs> okay so, none so we've uh, so if you're that cable there is it's sort of pre-bundled if you were running from a meter exactly, to an yeah. apartment exactly yeah so exactly the exactly so the uh like, this comes up i think it's up to 35 mil if i'm not mistaken right. uh, from 10 to to 35 mil was that all halogen free was that tough no 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 it's yeah. not no it's not it's easier to run that in than it is just single cable off a roll yeah because it's already twisted so it's already less dimension yeah um, to to, ah, it's kept tight to, together. to pull it in this is uh cabling for main supplies they normally run it over the front of a building it's called trenzado or braided cable yeah. um i believe you have the same stuff we call it abc aerial bundled cable right i see yeah. the one that you can see here that looks like it's just a single coating is the neutral and the others are the the, the phases and then array of uh the same similar kind of cables, halogen free, apart from the black cables. And what's the bare copper earth wire for? Okay, so this, this goes from um, the main isolating earth conductor, which we'll, we'll, we'll come to in a minute. It's like a little, uh, um, you take off the cover and you can actually separate the earth so there's no earth going into the building. Yeah. These go straight down to um, the, the earth electrodes. Okay, so it's not insulated, never insulated. Never insulated, you put it in a tube, yeah. Just put it in one of the, the black macaron tubes that we've just seen earlier, and um, that's how it goes. Right. That's new though. <laughs> Substantial earth rods. Yeah, up to one meter eighty, two meters, and then the other ones are one meter thirty. They're about. Good selection of basket, as we call it. Yeah. Yeah. We use quite a bit of basket over here and uh, plastic um, tray as well. Solar panels. As you can see here, 400 watts, two meters by one meter ten, I think they are. Booming market solar. Not so much here, not so much as it should be. I know, I think there's more in Stoke on Trent than there is in Tenerife to say. Probably. Mark. Shall we uh, venture upstairs? Yeah, let's have accessories first, Mark. So the we bank use... boxes are standard, are they? You can yeah, use... they're, they're, they're standard, yeah. So you use these kind of chassis to hold your switching and your sockets and all the mechanisms. Okay. So will that this... fit on a round or a square box? This will fit on a round box as long as it's got two points for for fixing some some of the boxes haven't got those so you have the same kind of uh a chassis but with two wings on the side that oh, actually okay. grip into the side i don't like them because they don't always fit snug 100 percent all depends how the box has been put in so it can be a little bit twisted or whatever it's not always uh the best thing so there's those and then schneider also do a, a metal box for 503 so you can put two sockets in or four switches it's a four gang plate these like we've seen on the boxes these are a plastic unit see slight difference these are three gang one double socket and a switch or three switches or one switch in the middle um, and then the metal chassis as well it's a grid system everything has its price and it's a bit more expensive than buying a double socket unit from screw fix okay so switches just click in pop in we so can look find at the back part. are they screwless these are screwless yes so you just push the wires in and then yeah, you push... just push the wires in you cut them at uh, 11 millimeters push down twist them together and push in so what's the difference there the red terminal to the so white the red terminal? is the uh, because this is a one way um you push in for the phase for the line and then this is the switch wire okay that's just to determine just so the switching is is correct on a not this so much but a normal switch uh, and then we've got shukos uh, we've got the red shukos for generator supplies or usb they basically fit like this um, this is a card um activation unit two switches and these are available to normally four four windows as we say or five windows some makes uh maximum four some maximum five yeah so you buy the chassis the switch yeah, so and the front plate the separate so the separate switching items. yeah and everything's got its price it's actually something like that would be probably about 60 euros right okay so uh they're about switches are around about four or five euros up to up to 15 euros for a switch if it's an intermediate or a double pole switch they're about 16 17 euros this unit here would probably be about 16 something units. okay that's so, a sort of specialist for the, the yeah, old hotel yeah, room i switch. guess so yeah so we've got the double switches these are pull these out slide them in they're a kind of like fast fix kind of wago kind of uh connector yeah 
Yeah. But you don't run radials here, do you? We don't run radials, no. How, the, a socket like that could only have three cables going to it, live neutral and earth. Yeah, so you can't um, spur off a socket. No, no, no. Everything no, no. goes back we, to the... We, sh uh, we shouldn't do. You shouldn't do. We shouldn't do. So something like this here, as you can tell, there is in and out, but those are used, those connections are used for something else. Okay. If you've got like a double pole switch or something like that. Uh, or if you want to uh, go in with the cables and out to a second socket or third socket or fourth socket. That's in the same box. That's in the, within the same box, exactly, yes. Yeah. Okay, so Patrices have just been released here. Okay. <laughs> Obviously under the Schneider make. Um, surface mount. Surface mounted Patrus. Yep. They look pretty good when they're all together. This is one of my favourite. Um, the Unica range, new Unica, is one of my favourite um, switching... Yeah. Oh, we've got a double the socket. There. Is that a double socket? For okay. This, so this is an, an adapter. Okay. Yeah. So we've got this is like a, a waterproof unit. We can actually take this out the back. So you'd have your socket inside or your switch. Pull that up. Do your switch and do your sockets and this that, and the other. These are one hundred percent waterproof. IP fifty five, I believe. And then so that these... means you can convert any standard socket to a waterproof socket. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. As long as it's on the same box, because these are the square box or round box. Yeah. Um, Interesting. And then we have a double socket. These are conversion units that go from a square box to a double socket. Okay, so if you instead want to... of chasing in your tiles and everything in the office, All right? Um, or kitchen or whatever, probably about twenty-three euros. All the ecosystems are individual. Yeah. Um, so this wouldn't do for any other make whatsoever. So you don't have fuse pull spurs? Cord. You don't so no you're not big on double pull switches on anything? Double pull switches are always on things like water heaters. Okay. We have to kill them both. Yeah. Everything inside the mains boards is all double pole. You know? Consumer units, that's what we need to see next. Let's go upstairs and we'll see some consumer units. Trunking, mini trunking. Okay. So Corners and everything like that are all available, as you can see on the side there. So if you were doing an office, would you do a lot of surface? Yeah, I mean, we've we've done quite a lot of stuff. Nope, no, no, stop. Here's a product we recognise. Well, so a Luda, top tier, Palazzoli top tier. Right. Flex cables. Uh, we do like a fire tough kind of thing. FP, I think it's called FP two hundred. Yeah, yep. similar. So again, nothing comes on reels. That's a that's no, a no. No. Right. So oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. So uh, these are surface boards. Uh, by the make ABB, which I believe you have in the UK. Uh, the ones that like to see the breakers and the ones that don't like to see the breakers. Okay. Um, good boards, really good boards. Um, but you could buy an ABB board and put anything in it? Everything is, is, um, can, can be brought off that. So you can mix the makes or this, something. It's not advisable to mix the makes, but there's no type testing on the boards. Right. You don't have to use ABB breakers. And they're always plastic? All plastic. Yeah. Uh, we do have some metal boards and some... Harder wearing boards. I believe you have these in the UK, Mini Pragma. Oh. Fantastic little boards. No, um, I've never seen no. them. No. Yeah, quite modern. That's quite You've got nice. lots so, and lots of space in the bottom to bring your cables in. So this and, is a consume unit? Yeah, this is a little consume unit. Um, right. Normally for something like a sub circuit or something like that. Um, these are roughly the basic installation and these, these, are, these can be fitted inside plasterboard. Slightly bigger board, surface as well. Doors for everything. These are slightly bigger boards. Pragma F um, by by Schneider. Locking so, mechanisms for the doors. Obviously, if you're going into anything like anywhere where there's public, uh, you have to put a lock on the door. Okay. You want to see another another big board? Yeah. So these are exactly the same as Melin Jerim. Absolutely fantastic board. Yeah. Definitely my favourite board for for commercials or larger houses. Okay. So this is again. This is. You, it's all plastic. You, it's plastic. It's you plastic. recess the. You first fix this you, first. You recess it up to this point here, yeah. and then they. This sits on top of the plastic, all in place. They come with bus, uh, the earthing terminals, which a lot of boards don't. Yeah. It's not a standard practice here, but Schneider are definitely coming in with the the, 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 the top products. Okay, so we've got the Orbis. Is one of the best makes of car chargers that we've got on the island. That's quite a neat looking unit. That. Yeah, it's a nice looking unit. Can you RFID, see? RFID, yeah, I'll yeah. pick up that. That's RFID tag on there. So something for an apartment car park or something. Orbis, never heard of that one. I think these are the uh, Luden. Yeah. Equivalent. Not mistaken? Yeah. yeah. Acelera. Okay, Very okay. similar. Yeah. So these are surface mounted boxes for single phase supplies up to 15 kilowatts. So you have your 6mm cables uh, semi rigid or rigid cable. It looks like rigid cable. 
uh, that go straight into the meter. And these are for when there's uh, like this, uh, the meter cupboards that we went in yesterday. Yeah. If they were putting in a dedicated supply, this is what we so would this use. this was for one house, you might This would be for one house or one small locale, up to 15,000 uh, watts, which yeah. is 63 amps. So that would go into and inside? This, these this would a, be inside, yeah. yes. And, and these would be, uh, these are virtually the same thing, right? I haven't got my key on me. Yeah. But these are basically just the same kind of setup inside, and these get sunk into the wall up to there. Yeah, so it's our equivalent to a, a meter box. Yeah, yeah, a meter box, yeah. But it's, it's basically just the same as you've got here. Okay, so these are when you have the trenzado cable or the uh, braided cable. These normally go off about two meters 80 at the top, which we'll see later. The cables drop down into here, supply the switching off, uh, the, the protection, and then go drop down in a, a binky tube. Yeah. The gray tube with a, a spiraled metal protection inside. They go down into the, the main meter cupboard and you get them all different size heads. All right. So this is a big boy. <laughs> Industrial sockets, commando sockets you call them. Really good quality ones. Yeah, fire rated down lights here. This is like really the leading maker of tubes, lights, LED panels that we've got in the Canary Islands. We're behind the counter here. So these are indirect supplies, the brand new models. Uh, so these come with the CT transformers. I think these are probably 105 amps. So every 100 amps that goes through, you get five amps out to, that comes into this um, connector block. These here are to plug in your testers. So if you ever need to leave an analyst machine, a power analyst machine, you can plug it into there and not having to you know, stay with your batteries for a week or two weeks on top. And then your service heads. And then here we have a brand new Centralisation de Contadores, which is what we saw the other day with all the, 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 the meters in. And these come with a class one surge protection. Okay. For transient uh, voltages. So potential lightning strikes. Got the plastic uh, transparent sheet in front of the bus bars. Each one's got fuses to it. Rewind. Metered. Yeah. Metered. And then into the connectors and then they go off into the uh, the properties after that. Okay. All come with... Uh, so has this been built to order for somebody? Yeah, you, you, you have them made up. It's, it's just not viable to, to make them up yourself. Free coffee. Yeah, not free coffee. Not free coffee. Free, free coffee for us. All right, okay. Good quality. I'm told they have this in Harrogate as well. Well, that's a... Yeah, nothing that you haven't got in the UK. Oh, plenty of heat shrink. Yeah. Um, and then we've got transparent stuff where you can print out um, from the Brother printers. Okay. If you can actually get the it put into there, then these can be used for uh, oh, identifying of circuits. Okay. All of this shrinks 50%. Yeah. Um, they're about the bigger stuff for, for joining cables together and this, that and the other, it's, this is used. What else we've got? We've got behind the counter. Don't know we go behind the counter. I like the display with the cable drums there. Yeah. There you go, there's a top tip for anyone. Oh, Fisher. Fisher, Fisher, Fisher. 